Okay, so here we are in Flash CS5, and we're going to create this, the um, animation using three items. There's going to be the car body, and then we're going to use one wheel and the figure of the head. Okay, so I'm going to start by importing the objects into the library. Okay, because right now it says um, the library is empty. Okay, so I'm going to go to File, Import to stage um, and I'm going to bring in the car tire Hit OK that's way too big I need to um, in order to optimize this thing to the, the best I should reduce the file size in Photoshop because this is way too big and it's just if I import this to the web it's gonna come out far too large and it's just gonna waste a lot of um, bandwidth and if I because if I scale it down in size it will load much quicker on the web okay so another way to optimize is get used to using symbols and there's other also when you use tweens they need to be symbols anyway so it's a good idea when you bring in an item to convert it to a symbol because right here this is the car the PNG if I copy this to the desktop a number of times each time I copy that, it's making a new image. It's like bringing in a completely different photograph, so it builds up the file size. But if I convert it to a symbol, each time it references this, so it's sort of like making a ghost image of it, where it doesn't take all that memory up, but it's still, you see the exact same thing. Okay, so I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to right-click or command-click, if you have a one-button mouse. And again, I'm using a, a um, Macintosh, um, so I'm going to hit Convert to Symbol. It's in the in the menu, which you can't see because it's off the screen. It's the second from the bottom, and it says Convert to Symbol. And right here, I can choose. I'm just going to Graphic, and I'm going to name this Wheel. Okay. Hit OK. And that's already here. I mean, it's here. So car, wheel, these are actually the same. I'm just going to delete that. Um, this first layer, I'm just going to name car. Hit enter. Double click to change the text. And then I hit enter. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go to file, import, uh, import to stage. I'm going to bring in the car body, jag, PNG. And the reason I use PNG is because again it preserves the transparency and again this is something that should have been optimized in Photoshop I should have reduced the size I mean if I need to get the file size down I can just go to view hit rulers and I can check a quick measurement and then I can go back to Photoshop and match the size and then you know if I want to change that size from I saved the file exactly as it was and I double click here and then I'll just hit update and it'll bring in, you'll see this photo will just get smaller if I reduce the size and that's a quick way to reduce the file size okay so, I'm, but I'm not going to do that now um, okay I'm just going to, because I'm, I'm just going to continue with this with bad optimization because I'm not planning on uh, posting this as is on the web okay so from here we have the car um, and I need to convert this to a symbol uh, okay going down second from the bottom says convert to symbol okay I'll make this a graphic symbol and I'm just gonna call this car and I hit enter okay so now I'm going to bring in that face the head okay import to, this time I'm gonna import it to library and watch the library panel over here okay because it's gonna bring in instead of bringing in one item it's gonna bring in to import to library okay I'm gonna hit Aaron head PNG okay so now it's two so it's Aaron head and then there's this item here called symbol 11 and what it what it did what is it automatically generated a symbol so so if I double click on it you can see it's the exact same item but when I brought it to the library it automatically brought it brought it you know converted it to a symbol okay I'm gonna go here I'm inside the symbol I wanna go back to the main stage okay so I'm gonna drag this to the desktop or the stage and you can see it's too big so I'm gonna hit delete and I'm gonna also delete this symbol oh 
wait a minute, I'm going to undo that because if I was happy with that, I could just rename it however I want it. Hit enter, but I don't want that, so I'm just going to toss that in the trash. Bring this, I'm going to bring this to the desktop, the, my, you know, the figure of me, scale it down to size that I want. Get that just right. Okay, now I'm going to right click or command click and scroll down to I get convert to symbol and it's graphic already so I'm just gonna call it me enter okay um but one thing that's going to happen it's a is if I click on this and I want to move it around it's gonna move separately I don't want that to happen I want to save myself some hassle down the line so I'm just gonna click on this head command X I'm going to double click and you can see now I'm inside the car movie clip I'm gonna double click hit go back to the stage and you can see if I take this car it's the exact same thing but you know car it's the same thing but you can't you know it it's just you can't see it in the right place on the stage I'm viewing it from the library okay so I'm going to move this into place but actually it's a good idea to keep things on separate layers um, when you're working in flash command X um, because if you start programming things it's just gonna save you a lot of headaches later and I'm just double clicking and retyping these names okay and I need to paste that head back in place paste okay so if I don't click back here to go back to the scene you can see it's still in place now if I move it it's it moves as one object okay and if I want to edit it I double click and you can see now I have both layers and it's inside the car move uh, the car uh, symbol so I'm gonna click back now it's one object again okay so that's good now I want to do the wheels I'm gonna take this wheel here and actually this wheel should have been a movie clip so I'm I'm going to uh, command Z I'll undo that I'm gonna double click here no, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to just double click, go back to the stage, or click or I click here, go back to stage. And right here, I'm going to click on wheel, and then this little icon here with the eye, that's the properties. I'm going to change this to a movie clip, okay? And I'm going to change the name to wheel spin, okay? The thing, what I'm going to do is make two clips of the, two symbols of the wheel. And the first one will be a movie clip, so it will show the motion. I'll be able, I'll have the timeline within inside, and then inside of that, I'm going to make a number, another symbol of the wheel, and it's actually going to spin. So theoretically, there's a number of ways I can do it. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way. I, actually, I think the best way to show it. I'm gonna hit undo. So now this wheel is back to just being a regular symbol I mean it's a graphic symbol so now I'm gonna go back to the library and I'm gonna hit new symbol and I'm gonna call this wheel spin okay and this is going to be a movie clip and I'm gonna hit enter okay it's blank there's nothing in it so I'm going to go to the wheel symbol of uh, the wheel graphic symbol I'm gonna copy that I'm not sure if I can copy that from here. Now I'm going to go over to here to the wheel spin. Okay, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to copy it from here. And then I'm going to do the wheel spin. Double click on that. There's nothing here. And you can see even the, the keyframe. There's nothing here. Command V, paste. Now, and I'm just going to label this wheel just because I like to label things. Okay, so now I pasted this inside of that empty clip inside the empty movie clip so now they're one within the other now I'm going to click on the scene one to go back to the main screen now I'm going to drag this this um, wheel clip onto this desktop okay all right I'm gonna scale that down again the free transform tools already selected and I'm gonna just scale that down just a little bit okay um and I'm going to end this here because this is um, YouTube and the last longest you can make a movie is 10 minutes. So there's going to be a part two. So I'm going to stop this right here.